To append two separate animations, first place both animations in the same scene. Here, I have a forward start animation and a forward loop animation. I want the loop animation to pick up where the start animation ends. Step 1. So shift select all the limb controllers. Under limb direction, activate the is active boolean. Step 2. Create a new track by clicking on the add track icon. Step 3. Add an object such as a locator to the track using commands add locator. Step 4. Select the whole timeline of the original track and select the root joint and go to Edit, Copy Interval. Step 5. Paste the copied data onto the locator on the new track by selecting that track, selecting the locator, then going to Edit, Paste Interval. Step 6. With the locator selected, shift highlight the point controllers, then go to Commands, Rig Additional, Constrain Points. Step 7. With the whole timeline selected, switch to Apply on Selected Interval and turn on Constraint is Enabled on Frame and Constraint is Active. Now the rig follows the locator. Step 8. For the frames you want moved, Control F over any interpolated frames. For some reason, interpolated frames don't work well in this process. Step 9. In the new track, go to the final frame of the first animation, copy the transform of the locator using Edit, Copy, or the hotkey, Control C. Step 10. Select the frames of the animation you want shifted. Turn on interval edit mode. Paste the copied locator transform to the first frame of the newly highlighted range. Step 11. Since the last frame of the first animation and the first frame of the second animation should be identical, remove one frame and slide the animation to give one continuous animation. Step 12. Something I nearly forgot about. You'll notice the root joint trajectory is no longer correct. Select the locator. Select all the frames of the new track. Copy the locator transform. Select the root joint. Paste all the transforms, and you're done.